Hello. One of the items in the farmhouse kitchen here at Gallant Farm that often attracts the attention of a lot of visitors is the Hoosier cupboard. Um, these baking centers, most of them were made in Indiana and many by the Hoosier company, so hence the name Hoosier cupboard became just the generic name for this type of a cupboard. Um, this one was probably made in the first decade of the 20th century, and it was actually made by the Sellers Company in Indiana. You can imagine the thrill of this being delivered to your home. Prior to getting one of these cupboards, uh, there weren't built-in cabinets all over your kitchen. You didn't have giant expansive countertops like we see today. Your food was in the pantry. You may have had your utensils on a shelf on the wall. And then you did all the rolling out of your noodles and pie crust and cookies. That was all done on the kitchen table. And so this fabulous work surface would have been a welcome addition to a small kitchen. Uh, the top actually pulls out to give you a really large space. And then it easily pushes back in so that you still have plenty of room in the kitchen to walk around the cupboard. This top is actually galvanized. Uh, when we received the piece from the Gallant family, the original zinc top was missing. And so we just replaced it with this galvanized. Uh, later, in the later decades when these were made in the 30s and 40s, this work surface was usually porcelain with a different colored edge, usually blue, black, or red, with maybe some, a speckled design. And later they also, many of them were painted white with some decorative painting on them. But the cool thing is that everything is at your fingertips. They were advertised as step saver cabinets. Now today we're not trying to save steps. But back then it was thought that this cupboard would save the average housewife 2,000 steps a day just by consolidating everything in one place. This cupboard retains a lot of the original glass jars that were used to hold your spices, tea, coffee, sugar, those kinds of things. It also has a tin meal bin for cornmeal or oatmeal, one of those, and the big flour bin. This would hold 20 to 25 pounds of flour because at the time you were doing a lot of baking. You baked probably the, the bread for the whole family, so you used a lot of flour. The coolest thing is the sifter. So as it dispenses the flour, it's actually sifting it, which was important at a time before anti-caking agents were added to flour and it wasn't bromated flour yet. And also there could be little bugs in the flour and that would get rid of those as well, which is a really good thing. So you've got this and then also in the bottom drawer, it's tin lined and that would be where you could store your bread. Uh, keeping the critters out of your food was a really big concern at the time, so that's why so many tin and glass things were incorporated. All your baking pans were stored down here. The shelf pulls out for easy access, and there's also a breadboard or a cutting board that you could use here or pull it out and take it to the table to serve bread on. So a really nice feature. Even though we aren't trying to save steps today, these cupboards are still sought after because of the potential for storage. You can use them for anything. A lot of people use them as an office center even. So the next time you're out and about, look for a Hoosier cupboard.